All right, now we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my April 2018 update video for, you guessed it, April 2018. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna be going over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. And probably the most important thing that's happened to me recently is, if you couldn't tell from the background because it's a little dark, is I've moved. <laughs> um, I've been talking about this for a couple months now, about wanting to move back to Ohio and after several weeks of getting everything prepared, working my final days at McDonald's and all this other stuff, I finally uh, moved in with my folks here in Ohio. It's good to be back in uh, what I consider my home state, even though I was born in Michigan. But this is, you know, the place where I did the majority of my growing up at. There's a lot of, a lot of little things, you know, coming from mid-sized city in Michigan to a smaller town in Ohio. You know, just the people are a lot nicer out here. And I've only been back for a couple days and I've already started to notice it. The roads are a lot nicer, I can tell you that right off the bat. Um, not all of them, but the vast majority of them. Uh, the drivers are a lot more laid back. It's nice to be in an area where I don't have to worry about my car getting broken into, house getting broken into. But yeah, like I said in previous updates, some of the main reasons why I wanted to move back, I wanted to save a little bit of money doing the freelancing stuff, plus working at McDonald's, especially in you know a single bedroom apartment in Michigan just really wasn't cutting it. Since I wasn't going to school up in Michigan anymore, and I really didn't like it up there to begin with. Uh, there was really nothing there to you know, really keep me there. Talked over with my folks over Christmas break, decided to move back in with them once my lease was up and decided to move back in with them uh, temporarily until I can find a job and start saving up and get another place of my own, but with much lower cost of living, which is nice. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's, it's good to be with my folks, you know, cause when I was out in Michigan, I hardly ever got to see them. In fact, I probably saw them more when I was in the military. Uh, so it was uh, a little difficult at times, you know? I got really homesick and you know, I just missing a lot of little things about Ohio. I know, weird, right? <laughs> but, you know, it's good to be back. Uh, it's just kind of a temporary little, you know, recovery period for me, I think. Um, just get myself back together again, um, get myself, you know, a good job, get some more freelance work, which is really important to me, because um, I, wanna, I wanna do freelance full time. And, you know, I'm able to make it an effective part-time income, but I wanna do it more. I really enjoy the aspect of working for different people and getting to solve their problems and stuff when it comes to video and, you know, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. You know, because like I said, you know, another one of the reasons why I decided to move back to Ohio is to be closer to my folks. Because, um, you know, they're kind of getting at that age where you just, you just don't know. I mean, I've seen a lot of, a lot of my friends uh, lose their folks over the past couple of years. And we had a couple health scares in my family. I don't want to get too into it, but uh, you just, you just never know, man. I know it's a little, <laughs> a little dark to think about, especially, you know, this early in the video, but you just never know, so. I just want to be close by in case something happens, and even for less morbid reasons, you know, I just want to be around my family, you know? So if they want to invite me over for dinner over the weekend or something like that, I can do that. You know, whereas when I was up in Michigan, I had to make a whole friggin' trip of it, and gotta plan the trip back, because I had to be back in time for work, and if I lived close by, it wouldn't take me more than a couple minutes. But anyway, aside from moving, and the whole uh, freelance thing, I guess we can sort of sashay a little bit into the whole youtube -y thing. As you guys know, if you've been following the channel for the past couple of weeks now, I've seen some recent growth in views as well as subs. Um, all thanks to the, uh, the Tikio Sam controversy, I guess, involving his uh, Sushi Go Round video. So when he took his original video down, a lot of people linked to my little VHS edit of it. Um, it was just a fun little edit that I put together, basically cutting a lot of the parts I didn't like, uh, just keeping the main gist of it in there, while adding a little VHS filter that I put up there. It was basically just editing practice for me, just to show what I could do and to just experiment with some like VHS type effects, because it was really popular with the kids, and plus, you know, they have kind of a soft spot with me as well, being a 30-something, being a you know, growing up in that environment. 
So when Sam took down his original video, a lot of people started linking to mine. So my humble little video went from a couple hundred views to like tens of thousands of views. It's up to like probably 20, 21 thousand views at least, last I checked. Um, a lot of hateful comments, a lot of the same stuff that was directed at Sam was directed at that video. Um, so I ended up just disabling comments, ratings, by approval only, just because, you know, I just didn't need that kind of uh, negativity in my life. And, you know, as much flack as YouTube gets for a lot of the bullshit that it pulls, and it does pull a lot of bullshit. That's not mince words here. Um, I am definitely thankful that they have at least got the comment system fairly together now. Um, it took them a couple, a couple uh, false starts to get there. My inbox isn't bombarded with a bunch of these comments and stuff like that, because, you know, after a while, this shit starts to wear on you, you know, even though it's not, like, my video, per se. But, you know, it's just good for my mental health to uh, be able to have those by approval only, so I don't have to look at it all the time. And the fallout from that caused a, a recent um, spike in views as well as uh, subscribers and we went from about 1300 or so to a little over 2000 and then back down to like 1800 ish so <laughs> I wanted to make this like a happy 2k subscriber video but with the, and we went back down to 1.8k so <laughs> um, yay <laughs> But, you know, I know we'll get there eventually one day uh, on a more permanent basis. But I am definitely thankful to you guys for uh, subscribing to this uh, humble little channel here. Even though I don't put out as much content as I used to. Uh, just because busy with freelance work and now trying to find another big boy job. <laughs> but, you know, one of my big fears with starting over on this channel uh, back in 2016, which was the 10 year anniversary of my original channel, uh, but one of my big fears was that I wouldn't be able to get the subscriber count that I had with that channel. You know, starting over from not necessarily nothing, because, you know, that the channel that I have now had about 150 subs, I think, at the time. But who knows how many of them were active. It was basically just my second channel that I would throw stuff up on. Even though we didn't meet the 2K mark, we still were able to surpass... Uh, my original channel's uh, peak sub count, which was close to about 1.7K. But we surpassed that, and you know, it just makes me very happy to, to see a renewed interest in my channel, and it's given me a lot more motivation to make videos of my own. I know I've been busy working on other people's stuff, you know, Eric Surf 6, Tikio Sam, now Brian from Ramen Adventures, and uh, maybe a couple others here and there. You know, with all that, you know, work, it's kind of hard to Fit some time in for my own stuff and plus like most of the time my own like day-to-day -day life isn't really all that interesting but um, it is you know very encouraging to see a lot of people interested in my channel now and I want to put some effort into making more content for you guys on this channel so let me know what you guys uh, would like to see more of from me in the comments down below in the boobity boops um, I know that my Japan related videos have seen a recent surge in, in popularity and stuff, so I definitely want to do more uh, Japan related videos, but I don't know, I'm still kind of mixed on the, on the whole Japan content thing, because, you know, not, having been out of the country for going on three years now, it's kind of hard for me to, you know, come off as some kind of Japan expert. But, you know, you guys seem to be very, be very interested in the Japan content, so... I'll do my best to, you know, make more Japan related videos in the future. Maybe do like an Andy Talks Navy-esque sort of thing with Japan. I don't know, Andy Talks Japan? <laughs> that might be the name of the new series actually, because I'm so original. So yeah, if you guys have any uh, Japan related topics you'd like me to discuss, be sure to leave me a little something something down below in the comments, in the boobity boops. And, uh, if you have something else you would like me to discuss, uh, sure sure let me know there as well. So, with that said guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign up for now, and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye. Oh,